It was there, amid the hectic pace of the third quarter of 2025, that something began to shift at Tesla. After difficult months at the beginning of the year, with falling sales and heavy criticism from investors, a new movement began to attract attention in Fremont. There were no official announcements nor promises of big events. It was more subtle. The first signs were picked up by a drone operator known for monitoring the factories backstage. And what he saw was enough to make any electric vehicle enthusiast nervous. The images captured on August 14th showed unusual activity at the factory. Camouflaged vehicles, silent testing on a reserved track, and most importantly, metal components left next to a casting structure. However, these components didn't match the standard of those used in the Model Y or Model 3. They were smaller, more compact, and, according to experts who analyzed the images, clearly designed for a different architecture. Speculation then began. Could this be the first physical indication of the much-talked-about Model 2? More than rumors, what was being seen was a concrete change in the manufacturing process. Instead of vehicles being driven by employees to the logistics area, the cars left the production lines and drove themselves to their destinations using unsupervised FSD mode. This already indicated that automation testing was on a new level, and the fact that these mysterious units were integrated into this process only reinforced the idea that the Model 2 was closer than many imagined. It was as if Fremont was about to usher in a new era. The details of the castings revealed in the images also offered important clues, not only because of their reduced size, but also because of the design itself. According to specialized engineers, the structures suggest a new type of chassis, leaner and optimized for cost cutting. The modular format allows for more agile production and less reliance on specialized labor. For a car that promises to be Tesla's most affordable, this approach makes perfect sense. And if confirmed, this new method could dictate the direction of the mass market electric vehicle industry. Elon Musk didn't take long to add fuel to the fire. In one of his most recent appearances, he confirmed that more affordable models would begin arriving in the fourth quarter. He didn't directly mention Model 2, but the context made it clear he was referring to this project. Since then, investors have been smiling again, and the Tesla community has been on high alert. After all, this was the car that, according to Musk, would take Tesla to a truly global scale, leaving the premium niche and invading the garages of ordinary citizens. Another point that reinforces this theory is Tesla's current situation. The company needs a new asset to resume exponential growth. The Model 2, with a promised price tag under $20,000, fits perfectly into this plan. It would be the first Tesla truly aimed at the masses, at the audience that until now could only admire the brand's models from afar. And if it arrives with the technologies already consolidated in the more expensive models, the impact on the electric car market will be immediate and possibly devastating. But what's striking is the care with which everything is being done. No grandiose presentations or forced leaks. Tesla is stitching together every detail behind the scenes, as if preparing a meticulously planned strategic shift. And Fremont has become the center of this silent hurricane. Every casting, every camouflaged car tested at dusk seems to be part of a puzzle that, little by little, is revealing itself more clearly. And for those paying attention, the signs are practically undeniable. The atmosphere in Fremont today is different. There's something in the air, a vibe of newness about to explode. Employees avoid talking, executives neither confirm nor deny, but the drones don't lie. The images are there, and they show a Tesla more active than ever, preparing something that could truly redefine the limits of electric mobility. If the Model 3 ushered in a new era for electric sedans, the Model 2 promises to do the same for compact cars, and it seems the first act of this spectacle has already begun to unfold. What few noticed amidst all this hustle and bustle was the discreet appearance of a new feature in the Tesla ecosystem, small in appearance, but huge in impact, low power mode. 
While all eyes were on the drones in Fremont and the mysterious castings, Tesla engineers were testing a system designed specifically for future Model 2 owners. A customer who wants practicality, but also control over every watt of battery life. And that's precisely where this low power mode comes in. Unlike other features that only work when the car is active, this mode operates silently behind the scenes. It automatically turns off everything that drains energy while the car is parked. Sentry mode, scheduled climate control, camp mode, dog mode, and even accessories that remain on even after the car is parked. It's as if the car enters a deep meditation without completely sleeping, still conscious, still accessible via the app, but without wasting energy. And this subtlety is all in keeping with a vehicle designed for everyday, urban, and intelligent use. One of the most anticipated features of this new system is automatic activation based on battery percentage. Let's say the user leaves the car parked for days at the airport or in a hot condominium garage. With low power mode set, when the charge reaches, for example, 30%, the system kicks in and cuts off everything that's not essential. The battery is preserved without the owner having to remember anything. It's the kind of detail that goes unnoticed in expensive cars, but makes a huge difference in mainstream models, where every kilometer of range counts. And that's not the only innovation linked to efficiency. Tesla has taken advantage of the wave of updates to refine its strategy with FSD, the famous full self-driving. Once seen as an expensive and exclusive luxury, the system now has a new look in the purchasing experience. Upon reaching the car customization stage, the customer is greeted by a nearly full-screen video realistically demonstrating how FSD works in the real world. And there, at that moment of decision, the option to buy, subscribe monthly, or try it free for a few days appears. It's as if FSD has ceased to be a distant promise and has become part of everyday life. The plan is simple, yet brilliant. Give the taste of full autonomy right when the car is delivered. Customers don't need to activate anything or swipe their card. They simply get into the Model 2 and drive for 90 days with FSD enabled. If they like it, they subscribe. If they don't, they deactivate it. This move reduces the burden of the initial investment and transforms the feature into something more organic, almost a natural extension of the vehicle. And this is precisely what could drive mass adoption of the system, especially in a car already born with popular appeal. Behind this decision lies a shift in Tesla's own narrative. Raj Jaganathan, the company's vice president, confirmed that all new buyers will have immediate access to FSD, whether through purchase, subscription, or free trial. This breaks one of Tesla's oldest barriers, the perception that its best features were restricted to the wealthiest. Now, with the Model 2, the game changes. Technology becomes a tool for persuasion, not exclusivity. And the way it's integrated into the purchasing process shows that the company is sharper than ever. Another curious detail is the psychological impact of this strategy. When the customer experiences FSD early on, a kind of positive dependence is created. The person gets used to semi-autonomous driving, and at the end of the free period, it's difficult to return to traditional mode. The car has already taught the brain to trust it. It's the car that convinces the owner, not the other way around. This type of approach is subtle, but extremely powerful in a competitive market, where the difference lies in the details that change the user's routine without them noticing. While everyone was talking about the Model 2's design or price, Tesla quietly changed the way people interact with the car. It's gone from being just a vehicle to a learning and adaptation platform. Low power mode and FSD aren't just technical features, they're tools to seduce a new audience. More attentive, more demanding, but also more curious. And for this new consumer profile, everything needs to work simply, intelligently, and efficiently, exactly as Tesla intends to deliver. Anyone who delves into the behind the scenes of the Model 2's production quickly realizes that the true spectacle is far from just technological. It's also structural. 
One of the most surprising details to come to light is the drastic reduction in welds in the body, something that seems overly technical, but has profound implications for performance, durability, and even the final price. By adopting just three mega parts, front, rear, and structural battery, Tesla simply cut over 90% of the traditional welds found in models like the Model 3 and Model Y. Just to give you an idea, a conventional sedan uses more than 6,000 spot welds to join hundreds of stamped metal parts. It's like assembling a complicated jigsaw puzzle, requiring time, effort, and high costs. In the Model 2, that number plummets to around 400 welds. The secret lies in the mega parts, cast in gigantic 50,000-ton presses, which eliminate several steps in the assembly process and drastically reduce the number of parts. The entire rear end of the car, for example, can now be a single piece, molded in one go, like a giant Lego brick. The impact of this extends far beyond the factory. Fewer welds mean fewer spots vulnerable to rust, less structural noise, and less dead weight dragged around the vehicle. For the consumer, this translates into greater durability over the years and less frequent maintenance. With this new method, Tesla is betting on a kind of longevity that most automakers can't yet deliver. Instead of having to fix cracked welds or deal with leaks after five or six years, Model 2 owners could easily go decades without even thinking about it. And this structural change also leaves room for other bold developments. One of them is the battery itself, which is no longer a box placed under the car, but rather part of the chassis. It's called a structural battery, which replaces hundreds of welds with a layer of aerospace-grade structural adhesive, the same used to bond airplane wings to the body. This increases the vehicle's torsional rigidity by almost 30%, making the body function as a single, stable, and resilient piece. The car becomes safer, firmer on curves, and lighter in every way. Speaking of lightness, cutting over 90 kg of dead metal has a direct impact on performance. The Model 2 promises to deliver 0 100 kmh acceleration in 2.9 seconds, something that would put it on par with supercars costing 10 times as much. This performance doesn't come from a more powerful engine, but rather from a more efficient structure. Less weight requires less energy, and less energy means more range per charge. This virtuous cycle is only possible because Tesla dared to break paradigms that the automotive industry treats as immutable. Another curious fact is the type of glue used in this futuristic assembly. Many people turn up their noses at the word adhesive, but this isn't something you buy at a stationary store. We're talking about structural adhesives that withstand absurd forces and extreme temperatures. And most importantly, they distribute stress more evenly than welds, reducing the risk of localized failures. This shows how Tesla is looking beyond the obvious, replacing centuries-old practices with solutions derived from aerospace engineering, not just traditional mechanics. This approach also transforms the way cars are assembled and transported. With fewer parts, fewer steps, and less chance for error, the assembly line becomes faster, cheaper, and more standardized. This is essential for an entry-level car that will be manufactured in absurdly high volumes. Tesla doesn't just want to make an affordable car. It wants to make millions of them, and to do that, it needs a production structure that is almost as revolutionary as the final product itself. The Model 2, in this sense, is not just a car. It's a new way of thinking about the automotive industry. Ultimately, this revolution in welding and parts is the kind of innovation consumers don't always see, but feel every day. In comfort, in performance, in the maintenance bill that never arrives. And it's precisely this kind of detail hidden beneath the bodywork that could make the Model 2 not only affordable, but also the best value Tesla has ever produced. It's as if engineering is finally meeting everyday practicality. And it all starts with three giant parts quietly molded behind the walls of Fremont. The experience of owning a Tesla Model 2 begins long before you sit in the driver's seat. 
In fact, it begins on your couch. Tesla has redesigned the entire purchasing journey for this model, leaving behind any trace of bureaucracy or noisy dealerships. Choosing a car has become as simple as ordering food through an app. The user accesses the website or app, selects the color, wheels, and interior, chooses whether they want FSD or not, pays with a card or Apple Pay, and that's it. No paperwork, lines, or pushy salespeople. It's a clean, straightforward purchase, just the way these times demand. After the final click, the factory springs into action and begins preparing the car. During this time, the customer receives real-time notifications about production and delivery status, delivered directly to their cell phone. Instead of scheduling a pickup, the vehicle is shipped directly to the buyer's home, already charged and ready to drive. It's as if the car were a digital product on wheels, delivered with the same convenience as a new smartphone. And the feeling of receiving something like this at your doorstep frictionlessly completely redefines the concept of buying a car. Maintenance, as expected, also fits this philosophy of simplicity. Over 80% of problems can be resolved by software updates applied remotely while the car is parked in the garage. From battery adjustments to cruise control system improvements, everything happens in the quiet of the night, without the need for a repair shop. And if something needs to be physically replaced, a technician will come to the customer's home with the right tools without having to leave the car. Everything is designed to avoid disrupting routine. But the truly impressive part of this new generation is the evolution of full self-driving, now in version V14. It virtually eliminates the need to drive. With a new artificial intelligence chip 10 times more powerful than the previous generation, the system can process images in real time with reflexes faster than those of a human. 120 frames per second are analyzed by an electronic brain that sees everything around it, reacts in milliseconds, and makes decisions with surgical precision. It's as if the car had its own eyes and brain. Sensors are also plentiful. Eight cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and three radars work together to detect lanes, traffic lights, complex intersections, and even small obstacles on the road. In situations where most drivers would be hesitant, such as poorly marked construction or an indecisive pedestrian, the Model 2 remains calm, calculates the movement, and executes the safest course of action. The driving experience becomes almost a guided tour, where the human becomes more of a spectator than a driver. And there's more. Integration with Tesla's diagnostic system allows the car to know something is wrong before the driver even notices. A crank sensor, an unusual vibration, or a strange tire pressure reading are enough for the system to trigger an automatic notification in the app. This ensures that minor issues don't turn into major headaches. It's the kind of predictive intelligence that, until recently, only existed in commercial aircraft or medical equipment. Beyond all this convenience, the Model 2 also opens up a new passive income reality, the robo-taxi concept. 